What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking On My Big Hair, where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss DC. As you all know, you do not have to believe in tarot. Do not exclude yourself from the message because this shit can actually happen. Julio Fulio Part 2. All my information will be in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if this is so, drop a tip in my cash out, leave a comment, and let me know. Y'all, I just did a video on Julio Fulio. As you all may or may not know, he was a Florida rapper who was just, he was young. His life was just taken a couple days after his birthday. He was a Gemini. We are now in cancer season. So he literally ended the season in his season. So um, I did a reading using my personal Oracle cards. So I want to see if the energy matches up with two different sets of decks that I'm going to be using. Now, this one um, is the Kipper. I'm going to be using the Kipper for one. And then I'm going to be using my um, Phantom Wise Tarot deck. I haven't really used this deck too many times, so let's just see if the energy matches up. So first we're gonna use the Kipper deck. Like I said, he was a Gemini. We're leaving Gemini season and so did he. Now let's just see what messages may or may not. Of course, there's a lot of um, speculation about what it could have been. I believe from what my tarot has, you know, told me that there was a female involved. Something had to do with his hair. He had locks. Something had to do with that. So let's just see what energy we get. Concern. A message of concern. So he may have already been concerned about something, but not really paying it too much attention. There could have been a concern on his part or somebody else may have been concerned, but let's get deeper into the reading. We got 33, 33 could be significant. 33 is the number of creativity. Okay, a message and distant horizon. So I get a lot of far away, distance messages. Messages, maybe travel. I feel like information flying back and forth. Now this isn't really far-fetched seeing as though Gemini is the sign of communication. It can also be the, the sign of movement, fast-paced movement. Gemini is ruled by the planet uh, Mercury, if I'm not mistaken. It's the planet of communication, just constant movement, constant change. Let's get one more. Imprisonment. So Somebody in this situation, I, I feel like somebody could have possibly already been arrested. This could have been a friend of his. This could have been him mentally. Of course, Gemini is an air sign like Aquarius and Libra. And of course, we are very much logical people. We're always in our heads. So this is not, to me, something that's, again, far-fetched. I feel like there is already messages here of concern. And the messages I feel like are traveling. I feel like he may have been sending a message to somebody in jail. He may have been talking to somebody in jail, concerned about something, concerned about somebody going to jail. He could have been writing somebody in jail, somebody who's not in the same place as him. So if he was in Florida, he could have been writing to somebody in North Carolina, or he could have been writing to somebody in California. Okay, a wealthy man. So there was, okay, so there was a wealthy man concerned. This could have been a manager. This could have been a father figure. Somebody of great wealth was already concerned. This could have even have been him, but again, he was young. And when we see, when I see wealthy man, I don't assume someone young. I assume somebody who's already pretty established, somebody who already kind of has it together again like a father figure or this could be somebody um like i said like a dad or like a manager or a mentor courthouse he may have already had issues this is what i'm saying somebody could have somebody could have gone to jail 
He could have been communicating with somebody in jail. Somebody may have been concerned about him going to jail. This could possibly be the person who took his life if that were the case. Journey, y'all, like all of these cards concerning, listen, distant horizons, journey, okay? Distant horizons, journey. We have imprisonment and we have courthouse. That's two out of two, okay? We have message, concern, and wealthy man, okay? Message of concern, wealthy man, somebody writing to somebody long distance or somebody may have already been in jail or somebody, somebody is worried about going to jail a main male, there are a lot of men in this situation. There are a lot of men in this situation. I feel like a lot of masculine energy in this. This could be, like I said, we got a main, we got a main male. Somebody who may have been traveling. Again, this could be an associate, a business partner. Uh, I said a partner, a business partner or somebody of great significance to him. I'm pulling all the masculine cards. And of course, this was a situation where, you know, I really don't think it was a female that that did the actual action to take his life or whatever. But we do have, again, we have a wealthy man and we have a main male. This could be two brothers. This could be a father and a son. This could be a mentor and a son. It, it could be a number of, but we do know that there are two men in this situation. One of them is concerned, both of them are concerned, possibly writing messages back and forth to the other. The other one, somebody is possibly already in jail. Family room. Yeah, like I feel like this is a, a, a situation amongst family or friends or people that come together. This could be like a group. Like I said, he was... He was an artist. What's at the bottom of the deck? Let's just see. Despair. What are you doing? Can I see it? What are you doing? I'm going to send a picture to you. Huh? I'm going to send a picture to you. Send a picture to where? To your phone. While you're recording. Okay. <laughs> despair so somebody in this situation was in despair we got that the car underneath that was high honor hold on the last three cards main female high honor and despair y'all So she, okay, I told y'all in the reading that I did that there was a, there, there may have been a female that was involved in this situation. When I place my cards down, placement is everything. This is what, this is how it came up. Now, then I say, well, you all may not know, but in the video that I just did of him, right? I said there may have been a female who was possibly treating him as if, yeah, you good, but you're not as good as Drake or you're not as good as, you know, future or whatever, whatever the case is, right? Somebody, there is a female, I'm telling you in the middle of this situation, center mass, this situation. Let's get into the tarot. Bottom of the deck, two of swords a hard decision so this is this i don't know what is going on with this situation and he may have had a jail uh, a, a, a a jailhouse case or something coming up you know what i'm saying it could have been anything again i do not know who this individual is i literally just found out about him earlier today i had a request for somebody to uh, i had a request for a young lady from a young lady to ask me to do a reading on this and so I knew nothing about him other than his name was Julio Fulio. He died, or I don't know if I can say that or not, but he passed away 
um, the yesterday morning or so. He was a Gemini. His birthday was January 21st, uh, June 21st. It was the last day of Gemini season. But there was a decision or something that can be made. So that would make sense why somebody is concerned or in despair. Something has to be done. A decision has to be made. Something has to be written. Somebody was concerned about that. Maybe he maybe he was going to go to jail, but ended up getting his life taken first. Let's see. The devil, y'all. The devil. He signed with he was signed to the devil, y'all. The devil was coming to collect one way or another. I can feel the energy. And again, the devil can be uh the devil can be can resemble masculine energy. There's nothing but masculine energy in this reading and guess what? There is only one piece of feminine energy in this entire reading. And in the other reading, the feminine energy, she did it, allegedly, okay? Again, my readings are for educational, entertainment, and spiritual purposes only. But we have the devil here. Somebody, somebody knew something was coming. I feel like this is why somebody was so concerned because they knew the devil was coming to collect. It's always this one. He had locks in his hair. He may have been very, very uh, into his locks. Like I said in my other video, you got some people who be into their outfits, be into their shoes, be into maybe they watch if they have one, if it's popular or if it's big. But he may have been into his hair. And if you see, uh, I, I saw a couple of his pictures he had always had like different looks when it came to his hair. So he was very much into his hair. And I know a few Geminis that had locks in their hair. I knew four Geminis that had locks in their hair. You know what I'm saying? So that can't possibly be a coincidence. It can, but I don't think so. So we have the devil here. The devil, I feel like, was coming to collect or the devil was in one of these energies that that uh, Julio Fulio was dealing with. The Page of Pentacles. Yes, so the devil came and decided, you know what, I'm gonna give you a contract to something. But he did not realize what the price of that was. See, he may have said, I just wanna be famous. And he did get famous, but not the way he wanted to get famous. He's not even really here to enjoy his fame. Maybe he was a, a again. We got a lot of these rappers that are their lives are ending very very soon, very early. We just had the rapper enchanting. Okay, we don't know if she was a if she was a, a not a substitute but a um a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? These things be happening, y'all. Y'all be acting like it don't. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but yeah, I feel like he was building something with the devil. He was trying to he was trying to build or create something with the devil. He could have been trying to build his music career. He possibly he could have possibly figured he was going to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Apparently he's really really big in New York. He was building with this female. Now, you know what I'm taking from this too, y'all? He was probably he was probably building with a female like I said who was using him building him to get close to him just so that he can get his life taken that is very possible and this is what I said in the last reading there was a female here who may have been a friend with may have been a friend first and then she was a friend then they did it and then she became a romantic interest after you sleep with a friend they're no longer a friend they're a romantic interest that's what they are and he may have done this and all of a sudden it's like now that i done slept with him i have all types of ties and 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 rights to so so and so no you don't no you don't even when you married you don't have certain rights to people like ugh. the ace of wands 
he probably didn't want to sleep with whoever this female was because he probably thought she was a thought. He probably, oh my God, y'all, hold on. We got judgment and the queen of cups in reverse. Y'all, you know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? Okay. I dealt with a Gemini, right? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give y'all a little quick story. I dealt with a Gemini. The Gemini that I was talking to, y'all know I do tarot. So if I do tarot and I pick up on certain energies, clearly when I deal with people, I let them know that I do tarot and I read tarot and that I'm really good at it. So even when I tell this to people, sometimes they don't always believe it. They just be like, mm, until I say something and it actually really happens. So I was dealing with this Gemini, right? This was fairly recent. I was dealing with this Gemini and me and him were kind of, you know, still trying to get to know each other. Now, he was a very popular chef here in Dallas. And I went to his house one day, we were talking and he was telling me that he had, now, before I get there, I did a reading on him before the conversation I'm about to tell you about, right? I did a reading on him and what I found was there was a female that he was involved with. Whoever the female he was involved with was, was married to somebody of a very, very, very high stature. This is top-notch corporate. This is CEO. This is somebody who has very big money, possibly a half a millionaire or a millionaire of some sort excuse me and i got that he may have been dealing with this female now i never told him that i did the reading or found out this information so it made me a little bit saucy so one day he invites me over this was like a couple days later he invited me over we're talking or whatever and he says guess what i got some really good news and i'm like what's up he's like so this lady that i know she's a millionaire and her husband is a millionaire and she is about to put me on to get my business to the next level he also made mention that the girl was very attractive she is she's an attractive woman and she was older clearly but she was an attractive woman was what he said to me verbatim now why would you need to insert that in the conversation i don't know but anyway, now I say that to say in what I'm seeing right now, mind you, this dude that I was talking about is a Gemini and he had locks in his hair and he was a very well-known individual, right? We got the Queen of Cups. We got the Queen of Cups in reverse and it came out right next to the wealthy man. Now, if he, the guy that I was talking to, and this is the thing, a lot of signs go through some of some very similar situations so again you may have libras who may be finding out right now that their dudes or their girls is getting cheated on or cheating on them like aquarius right now you may get a reading on aquarius and find out the aquarius don't want no relationship don't got no ties to nobody they're focused on work whereas the libras may be in a situation like cardi b finding out that they man is cheating or somebody is finding out that they Libra girl is cheating or something along those lines. Now, this dude right here was dealing with a married woman. I know he was because when I did the reading, he came out and just told me on his own without even knowing. So what, when I pulled this Queen of Pentacles in reverse or the Queen of Cups, I'm sorry, in reverse, it came out over a wealthy man so and look at her don't she look fancy she just don't have love for the husband because she's cheating on the husband so whoever this main female is and again you got the main female with a wealthy man okay she may be having relations with a main male so i'm willing to bet that julio fulio is either is either the wealthy man or the main man he's probably the main man because there were probably other people a little bit more wealthy than him just like his producers his managers you know the singer songwriter whoever could have been a little bit higher than him maybe he didn't 
drop or become as big as say Gucci Mane and Enchanted, you know what I'm saying? But it's literally the equivalent to like Gucci Mane and the Enchanted. Like she was popular, but she wasn't a Summer Walker yet. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't a, 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 a what's that girl name? A Thames. Like she wasn't one of them yet, but she was getting there. And I'm not discrediting her as a goddamn rapper. This is the same thing. Julio Fulio is not anybody. I live in Texas. I ain't never heard this full name. I can almost assure you people in DC probably ain't never heard this full name. But then again, they may have because he's closer to, DC is closer to Florida than Texas is, I believe. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not sure. But I'm willing to bet that there was a situation where he was involved with a female who was possibly married. Possibly married. And he was trying to make a decision heart over logic. He was trying to decide, do I choose heart over, head over heart or heart over head? And see, he might have gotten next to the producer's wife or dealing with a female because there was a video that circulated that they were saying of a girl who who may have dropped his location but if you see her she wasn't young she ain't look young she might have been she ain't look like it though but he he was into something he was dancing with the devil and he was trying to build something with the devil now again we all gonna have our speculations on this but what i'm saying is my reasons usually don't be wrong it's a lot of people out here who just do tarot because it's the thing to do everybody's doing it i don't i get i got monetized my monetize my monetization level right now is at a dollar and 70 cents i'm not making a whole lot of money if any from these videos i do it because i genuinely like to read tarot it's naturally instilled in me to do it was spiritually given to me as a gift after a traumatic experience that that i went through myself but you got a lot of people who do it because it can be lucrative you can make good money but those are not the readers that i feel like you should listen to because a lot of them have the same story same repetition oh somebody is cheating oh you gonna find out that they cheated and come back and it, it, all of their stories be the same. Everybody loves story be the same. Don't nobody love story be different. So I'm telling you this because what I see, I done tried to channel the motherfucker from above. And that's, 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 that's real. Not in a negative way, but there might be some things that need to be said or need to be put out there. Five of Cups. Listen, I feel like he possibly made the, he made the wrong decision. He had the option to choose heart over logic. Heart over logic. He should have chose logic, but he did not choose logic. So with the five with the five of cups, there is a level of regret here. There is a regret for a decision that he made. What is the regret for it? What is the decision? What is the decision that he regrets? I'm telling you, he had to make either a logical decision, a heart over head, or a head over heart. And I feel like he made the wrong decision. If he made the right decision, he might still be alive. But again, it was his birthday. You know, people get turned for their birthday, they start acting different for their birthdays but again see the chariot and oh my god y'all the chariot can signify a car did his car get messed up or something like that didn't so i thought i seen when they when they were when the news anchor was doing the when the news anchor was doing was reading the report nay uh -huh. take your dog outside please when the news anchor was doing the video they showed two cars that looked like they were either in a car accident, shot up, wrecked up, whatever. But the 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 chariot in reverse can signify an accident. It can signify some something stopping like almost immediately, like a skirt, or something being fast paced but being slowed down or delayed or coming to a complete stop. This is that type of situation. And again. Pull that shit out right over the devil. 
pulled it out right over the devil. The devil was in the car. And who was it? Uh 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 what's that? What's that rapper? The one that used to um used to to, to be with Kelly. What's his name? Y'all know um God, what's his name? Uh 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 not Kelly, um my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Uh, Khalees. Who was it that Khalees was dealing with? He was in the movie, uh, damn, how am I forgetting so much shit? He would, look, in a car, oh my, y'all, hold on a second. This is just a mess. Hold on. Nas, that's who it was. Nas had a song, and in his song, he was talking about how, I think it was called the Bible or something like that, and he was talking about how any of your stuff can be compromised. It can be touched or blessed by the devil himself. So you could be saying, oh yeah, I got me a new car, I got me a new car, and it's been touched or it's been bedazzled by the devil and then you get in that car and guess what that car is prone to having multiple accidents or the car stops or the car gets broken into you know some certain things that we utilize can be blessed in the wrong way not in the right way you know what i'm saying so again i think the devil took his car first or the devil did something with this fool car i'm just telling you the devil did something with this fool car the devil did something with this dude's car, Fulio. But he was regretting the decision that he made. I'm telling y'all, he was regretting the decision that he made. King of Cups wanted to come out. He was building with a man. I'm telling you, he was building with a man and whoever this man was, was emotionally connected to him. He was building with a man who was emotionally connected to him. So this could be a lover because a lot of them, let, let's not, I'm not trying to disrespect or offend this man, but what I'm saying is we know how the music and the rap game is. A lot of these rapper dudes be undercover. They be dealing with other men and you would never know it. Now, what's funny about this is the Gemini that I was telling y'all about I really believe was down low. I believe that was down low. And some of us as women, the ones who pay attention, we know if a man tells you, okay, if a man said, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. I had on a one piece outfit. He looked at my one piece outfit and said, damn, if I had that outfit on, I'd probably bust out of it. If you had my outfit on, you would bust out of it. Like, why are you envisioning yourself in my clothes? That was the first question that I had. What man envisions another woman, uh, envisions himself in another woman's clothes? Like he said to me verbatim, if I were to put that on, I'd probably bust out of it. You know what I'm saying? And he would always talk about how, you know, he would always talk about how, he would always talk about how, you know, my upper body don't match, don't match my bottom part of my body. My legs are too skinny. My stomach isn't in, in shape. Like he was very insecure. I could tell he always talked about himself and he always asked me stuff like, how do you feel about your body? And, you know, how do you feel about the clothes that you wear and things like, and it was just kind of like, this is the type of conversation that a woman would have with another woman. This isn't the type of conversation that a man would have with a woman so what i'm saying is i'm not saying that he was down low but what i'm saying is there was somebody there was a masculine he was building with it could have been a really really close friend it could have been a business partner he was only 26 years old okay so it could have been a business partner it could have been a father figure it could have been any male figure it could have been a a masculine woman for all we know but there was a significant other doesn't have to be romantic, but it was a tarot. Sit your ass down. Damn. Excuse me, y'all. Look at her. Look at her. Tarot, you on candy camera. Look. 
chocolate. It says here. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. And look at that. Look at that. He in the bed. He in the bed. Scared in the bed. Why you scared in the bed? You know what? Because he probably says, you know what? I don't want to have to sleep with nobody of the same sex to get where I need to go. And they might have took him out. Who knows? But he was afraid of something. Again, he was building with whoever this was, but he was scared. I ain't scared of the motherfucking devil, but some people are. The devil brought about fear. What did he bring about fear of? What did the devil bring about fear of? The hangman being stuck. Yeah, trying to figure out what am I going to do? I feel like the devil had a sword in his back. Whoever the devil was, I feel like the devil knew how close he was to his car. The devil did something with his car. He made a deal with the devil. I'm telling y'all. King of, bruh, the king of swords, the king of swords. Why do we have all of these, bruh, lovers, bruh, y'all, y'all. The lovers signifies Gemini. I literally pulled the lovers card in the last reading that I just did. And it wasn't even, it wasn't even signifying Gemini's. It meant a couple building a brand together, which is what I said. Y'all go watch that video. Go watch that video. I'm telling you, he may have been into some stuff that a lot of y'all probably don't know about. He could have been an undercover. Look at all of these men, y'all. In this reading, he, you got the devil. You got the king of swords. You got the king of cups. You got a main male. Where the other one at? You got a wealthy man and, 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 and one woman who is the beard? Because usually that's what it be. Look at P. Diddy. He was a beard. Uh, Cassie was a beard. He ain't like that girl. I don't care what none of y'all talking about. He ain't like that girl. He was covering her up as a beard and he was fucking with Saucy Santana. Okay, yes he was. Then you got these two men over here. You got a motherfucking industry. This is an industry story. Okay, this is a real industry story. Whoever he was there, he was scared of the devil. Look at this. We got the Hierophant at the bottom. Uh, another man, y'all. Why is there so many men in this situation? See, he was afraid. He was afraid of sleeping I think he 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 feared having to sleep with somebody and somebody said oh well since you ain't trying to give it up then you ain't about to be the best rapper alive I'm telling y'all I'm telling y'all he may have been into some stuff or he was involved I listen he chose heart over head he chose heart over logic and he may, and he's regretting his decision. He's regretting his decision. He made the wrong decision. He made the wrong decision. Listen, look, he possibly slept with the wrong person. He slept with this girl. Could have been a transgender. He slept with somebody. He was building with multiple men and was probably using this girl as a beard or he was building with multiple men and he got with this girl who got him PNB rocks. Got with a girl who had him PNB rocks. The emperor, bro, why are all of these men coming out? What is it with all of these men? All of these men. And it don't seem like these men are fighting each other. It don't seem like that from what I'm picking up in this reading. These men are not fighting with each other. Some of these men may have a, a bad attitude, but this is coming at me like, this is coming at me like, like I said, P. Diddy. And y'all remember that round table talk with P. Diddy and it was a bunch of, it was fabulous in there. It was real, it, it was real popular and P. Diddy was telling fabulous, yeah, let me, we, we should go and party together. It's a group of men. 
All of them know what Diddy talking about. All of them know what Diddy over there talking about. Oh, I want to party with you fabulous over there sitting there scared than a motherfucker talking about some. Uh, we, we, we did party. And, 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 and P. Diddy talking about some, nah, I want a party party. Y'all know what that meant. Fabulous was sitting in his goddamn chair shaking in his knees. He wasn't trying to, 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 to do no shit like that. You got the emperor in reverse. And look, you got the ten of pentacles in reverse. The loss of everything. The loss of his goddamn car. The loss of the girl. The loss of the fame. Now everybody's going to talk about him for a little bit. And then he's going to slowly but surely wither away, unfortunately. Like, I feel like he made the wrong decision. See, what is that at the bottom? The Six of Pentacles. See, in the Ace of Cups in reverse, there was no love in this situation for him. Something about this situation was very unfair for him. I don't think he wanted to do something, but he ended up making the wrong decision and possibly doing it anyway. Y'all, I didn't mean for this to be such a long reading. I was just trying to see if the shit compared. And to me, to some degree, yeah. He was dealing with a female, possibly who either got him P and B rocked, or he was using this female as a beard to cover up a, a, some other stuff. The King of Wands, y'all. Y'all, why are all of these men here? Why are all of these men, all of these men in, are involved? All these men and one woman are involved. Again, we got the Ace of Wands, the King of Wands, I'm sorry. We got the King of Wands. We got the Emperor. We got the King of Swords. We got the King of Cups. We got the only person we don't have is the King of Pentacles. That's the only person we don't have is the King of Pentacles. We got all of these kings. The emperor, the devil, the devil is masculine energy, all of that, and, 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 and one woman. And I feel like maybe these men got him set up. Maybe these men put this girl on to him, and he knew he, knew he wasn't supposed to deal with whoever this woman was. The, it, it, it was what, one, two, three, four, five against one? They set him up with a girl, possibly. They may have set him up with a girl. And she got him PNB rock, y'all. Bottom of the deck, last card. The three of wands. Delay. Y'all be safe out there if you don't. Hold on. If you don't, you better.